आर सी पैरल सर्किट दिस इज आ आर सी पैरल सर्किट नाउ इफ वी अप्लाय के सी एल एट दिस नोड सो आई फेजर इज इक्वल टू आई आर फेजर प्लस आई सी फेजर नाउ सीन्स दिस रेजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरल सो वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिम विल बी सेम ऑल्सो टुगेदर दिस रेजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर विल हैव इम्पिडन्स जेड नाउ फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन से दैट आई इज इक्वल टू वी बाय जेड आई आर इज इक्वल टू वी आर बाय आर बट वी आर इज इक्वल टू वी आर इज इक्वल टू वी सी इज इक्वल टू वी सो हेयर वी कैन राइट वी डिवाइडेड बाय आर प्लस आई सी इज वी सी डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस जे एक्स सी सो हेयर इन प्लेस ऑफ वी सी वी कैन राइट वी डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस जे एक्स सी वेर एक्स सी इज द कैपेसिटिव रिएक्टन्स एंड दिस वन बाय माइनस जे रिप्रेजेंट द करंट इज लीडिंग इन कैपेसिटर Now, if we take this V common from here and here, so this V and this V will get cancel. So what's remain? Here one by Z, and here one by R, and here one by minus J X C. Now one by Z, that is reciprocal of impedance is admittance, and reciprocal of resistance is conductance, and reciprocal of this one by J is one by J is plus J. and this 1 by xc is susceptance capacitive susceptance it is represented by bc now phasor diagram we will take voltage as a reference because voltage is same in resistance and capacitance now this ir will be in phase with voltage and this ic will be leading the voltage by 90 degree now resultant of this ic and ir will be this i phasor now from this phasor diagram we can say that ib is equal to cd so we can replace this cd by ab from this phasor diagram we can draw current triangle admittance triangle and power triangle so here current triangle will be this will be i phasor as it is and we have replaced this line by ic and this will be ir now if we apply pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle this is a right angle triangle so hypotenuse square is equal to adjacent side square plus opposite side square so this will be i square is equal to ir square plus ic square here we can see and from this equation i is equal to under root of ir square plus ic square now cos phi is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse so here adjacent side is ir and hypotenuse is this i phasor so cos phi is equal to ir by i now this this cos phi is the power factor and power factor will be leading because of the capacitor then tan phi tan phi is equal to opposite upon adjacent so here opposite is ic and adjacent is ir so tan phi is equal to ic divided by ir now from this current triangle we can draw admittance triangle if we divide all the side of this current triangle by voltage v then what's remain 1 by z and here 1 by xc and here 1 by r so 1 by z is again admittance and capacitive susceptance and conductance so again this is a right angle triangle so y square is equal to g square plus bc square using pythagoras theorem therefore y is equal to under root of g square plus bc square then power factor cos phi is equal to again cos phi is adjacent upon hypotenuse so here adjacent side is g and hypotenuse is y so g by y cos phi is equal to g by y and this this cos phi will be again leading because of the capacitor and tan phi is equal to opposite upon adjacent so opposite side is bc and adjacent side is g so tan phi is equal to bc divided by g now again this is a power triangle 
so this will be apparent power s this is true power p and this is reactive power qc because of capacitor now again using pythagoras theorem s square is equal to p square plus qc square so from this s is equal to under root of p square plus qc square then cos phi is equal to again adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so adjacent side is p and hypotenuse is this s so cos phi is equal to p by s and tan phi is equal to opposite side that is qc divided by adjacent side adjacent side is p